Pride on American Female Serial Killers, we have Sante Kimes. And as you may know by now, these take me a very long time. So if you can like, comment, share, copy link, let me know if this is on your For You page. Anything to help me get views. I appreciate you to the fullest extent of the law. I appreciate you to the fullest extent of the law merch coming soon. Okay, so Sante Kimes, and I did look up how to say her name, and that's how they say that you say it, was born either Sante Singers or Sandra Louise Singers. It is unclear which. On July 24th, 1934, and she lived until May 19th, 2014. She was an American criminal who was convicted of two murders, as well as robbery, forgery, violation of anti-slavery laws, and numerous other crimes. Many of these crimes were committed with the assistance of her son, Kenny Kimes. The two of them were tried and convicted together for the murder of Irene Silverman, along with 117 other charges. Kenny struck a plea deal in the murder of David Kasdan, where he pled guilty and agreed to testify against his mother in her trial for Kasdan's murder in return for her not facing a death sentence. Sante Kimes was subsequently convicted of that murder, and the pair were also suspected but never charged in a third murder in the Bahamas, to which Kenny Kimes confessed. According to court records, Sante Kimes was born Sante Singers in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, one of four children to Mary Van Horn, who was a native of Illinois and of partial Dutch descent. Her father was Prama Mahandra Singers, who was of East Indian descent and came to the United States through Canada. Sante Kimes gave numerous conflicting stories about her origins and numerous other accounts that are difficult to confirm. Her son, Kent Walker, has said that her birth certificate might be forged, and in his book, Son of a Grifter, he reported a claim by an old acquaintance of his mother that Kimes was the daughter of a respectable family who was unable to cope with her apparent wild antics. Kimes herself has claimed that her father was a laborer and that her mother was a prostitute who migrated to Los Angeles during the Dust Bowl, where the young Kimes ran wild in the streets. Kimes attended high school in Carson City, Nevada, and graduated in 1952, and soon after, she married a high school boyfriend, but the marriage lasted only three months. In 1956, Kimes reunited with another sweetheart from high school, Edward Walker, and they married in 1957 and had the son, Kent. After a shoplifting conviction in 1961, Kimes separated and reconciled intermittently with Walker, but their divorce was not finalized until 1969. In 1971, she met motel tycoon Kenneth Kimes, and they married in Clark County, Nevada on April 5th, 1981, and had one son, Kenneth Karam Kimes. She spent the better part of her life fleecing people of money, expensive merchandise, and real estate, either through elaborate con games, arson, forgery, or outright theft. After she and her son went on to commit the worst crimes of the three murders, she was sentenced to 125 years in prison, and that's where she died on May 19th, 2014.